Hello comrades and fellow model makers, welcome to this final part of this T62 build. As you can see I've been working on the base and this is uh, it so far. But I'm going to be adding a bit more mud and grime and stuff to the actual T62 using the AK wet mud. Now I will be speeding this video up just to get through it because you've seen this technique before. As you can hear, I am using music again. It's uh, music by Jeff Appleton. I do like this album. But if you are a music maker yourself and you'd like to send me some of your music to play on my videos, f feel free to send me it. It's uh, be much appreciated. As you can see, I'm using the same technique I used in a previous video when I did the model with well, did the dirtying up, should I say? And I'm using the same technique here when I'm adding a bit of mud and some static grass. Just to give that sort of like effect of grass chucked up on the side. It's the same technique I used when I did the underneath. So you basically use a little bit of artistic license and add this uh, static grass mixture and mud. You know, where you think it would, would it, where it looks good basically, just use your artistic license. Now a good place where the mud will be uh, is where the driver gets in and out and he scrapes his mud on the various uh, bits and pieces on his way in. That goes for all the crew really. They normally use the same route to get in and off a tank. So here, well, here's my little contraption I made for making the tracks in the mud. Just a little demonstration there of uh, it in working, it in working, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm going to add some uh, this AK dark and dry crack. Sort of give us sort of like a cracked effect on the base. You just apply it like you normally you, like you apply all the other AK mud products. Now the thicker you apply it, the bigger the cracks, I believe. I will show you at the end of the video some pictures of when it's all dried out. It does look good, I recommend this product. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you, you can think of anything I can do to improve my videos. I'm still learning this, if you will. So I'm going to be adding the T62 to the base now and adding Gorilla Wood Glue. So 
just adjusting the crash barrier to where you exactly want it and you adjust the T62 to where you exactly want it. Now I'm going to add some dark earth around the side of the tracks just to give it a little bit more hold. Also to fill in the gaps which have occurred. I don't know why. But then it, it does look good when you squishing all the mud in. It makes it look like it's really driven through some mud. There you go you can kind of see i will add pictures at the end you can kind of see how it's how it's looking so i left that to dry it's all dried now it's all fixed to the base i've added the, the turret i'm just going to show you what it looks like you can kind of see the cracked earth effect You can see the road there and the uh, how it looks grubby, the crash barrier. You can see the flowers there. You can see how it kind of looks like it's going up a bank and it's gone through some mud. See the track markings and the T62 itself looking uh, pretty good but of course the, I'm pretty new at this video malarkey and YouTubing so uh, please like and subscribe leave comments below let the channel grow as they say and uh, please join me next time I will be building something completely different and I'm going to be leaving this, so we are coming to the end, and I'm going to be adding some photos so, so you can get a, a good look of what it looks like at the end. You can follow me on Facebook where you can see all the photos. But thank you for watching. Please join me next time. I'm just going to let this play out now. <laughs>